Well, my goal this morning was to run to the sun. I'm at Game Creek and it's cold. It was six degrees Fahrenheit at start, which is nine degrees warmer than yesterday, but it feels nine degrees colder because it's damp and I was in a lot of shade, but now I'm in the sun and it feels amazing. Ran to the sun. Anyways, it's hard to describe, but sometimes the snow is so good, so tacky, so firm, so grippy, that the trails are faster than in the winter than they are in the summer. And that's today. They groom this, but it's, we don't have a lot of snow yet. So I'm punching through a little bit here up high, um, but down, down below is really, really nice. So I'm starting to punch through here, but um, with more snow, it'll get better. Anyways, all week long, we've talked about building run-based foundation. We talked about your easy runs, strength runs, speed runs for turnover. Yesterday, we talked about building a foundation from the ground up and training your feet for base training. And what's one thing that's missing? It's training the mind. So important to train the mind. So important to have a ritual in training the mind. Every morning with my cup of coffee, I sit down, close my eyes, and visualize my day. And more specifically, visualize my run. What type of run it is, what kind of workout is it, and I visualize, I spend time, maybe 10, 15 minutes just taking myself through in my mind's eye that workout, seeing myself run how I want to run, seeing myself perform how I want to perform and make it as detailed as possible. Other days, I'll visualize accomplishing my goals next year. You know, last week I had you guys declare your goals for 2021 and declare what you have accomplished. And it's no different in visualizing them, visualizing them like they've already taken place, visualizing your goals in the future of just how you want to accomplish that, seeing yourself do it. That's building a foundation for our brain. Our brain sees it no differently than actually doing it. You know, it's, it's black and white science, training the brain, Visualizing really, really, really is a black and white way of accomplishing what you want to accomplish. Our brain sees it no differently. So we can start base training our mind. Start being aware of the, the words you use while you're out running, while you're doing a difficult workout. What are the words internally you start talking to yourself about? Are they positive or negative? If they're negative, start practicing changing those words that you tell yourself. And that's beginning to train and a foundation for your mind. We can't just expect to get into a race and automatically start having positive words for ourselves when things start to get challenging. It doesn't work that way. It's just like in high school when you say, oh, I'll study once I get to college. Well, how well did that happen, right? We've got to start practicing it in our training throughout our day. The words we use, the positive words that we can use to affect what we're dealing with at, at that present moment. Okay, so start to see part of your base training, part of your foundation training early season as a way to start training the mind for when things really get challenging or when you want to accomplish something in the future. Start training the brain and check it out. I'm gonna carry on up here and do a little turnaround and then head down the hill. Right now it's super punchy. Every step I'm kind of sinking in a little bit, so it's starting to break up. It's super frustrating, but a perfect time for me to train the brain for my race in March. Hey, I might get conditions like this, but I'm also saying, hey, I'm the only one out here. I'm the only one doing this today. It's pretty, 
pretty invigorating. I'm just slowing down, being patient, and just getting through this section. So the brain likes frequency, consistency, just like the body. So we gotta keep training with positive reinforcement. Turn the negative into a positive. There's always a way to do that. But it takes practice. Having my feet tossed around by the uneven hard snow on a descent could be really frustrating or just a great opportunity to train the feet. Your choice in how you think. Now I'm back to a fast, nice, really fun stretch. Conditions today are just up and down, good and bad. Just like our thinking. We have good thoughts, bad thoughts. The point is that you don't want to do away with bad thoughts. The key is we're always going to have bad thoughts, negative thoughts at times, during bad times. That's natural. We don't want to do away with them, but we want to be aware of them so we can change our outcome or more importantly, change our action. So don't look to eradicate bad thoughts and negative thoughts. Look to change them into positives. They'll always be there. Now the conditions are just sublime, so fast, on the downhill, so fun. <laughs> All right, that's what I got you for you today. Peace, and as always, be a courier, pass on the message. See ya.